Can we bring back extinct animals? Hey everyone! Welcome back to Animal Files. Imagine a world where the woolly mammoth once again roams the Arctic tundra, the dodo bird waddles around the forests of Mauritius, and the Tasmanian tiger prowls through the wild. Sounds like something out of Jurassic Park, right? But believe it or not, scientists are actually working on making this a reality. Welcome to the world of de-extinction, the science of bringing extinct animals back to life. But is it really possible? Should we even try? And what are the consequences of playing nature's architect? Stick around, because in today's video, we're diving deep into the mind-blowing science behind de-extinction. First things first, what exactly is de-extinction? Simply put, de-extinction is the process of reviving species that have disappeared from our planet. This isn't science fiction. It's a field of research that combines genetics, cloning, and conservation biology to resurrect lost species. But how do scientists even begin to do something this complex? To understand, we need to break down the different methods of bringing species back. One of the oldest and simplest methods of de-extinction is selective breeding. This involves finding modern relatives of extinct species and selectively breeding them to bring back ancestral traits. A great example of this is the heck cattle, bred to resemble the extinct aurochs, massive wild cattle that roamed Europe. But as you might have guessed, this method has its limits. It doesn't bring back the actual extinct species, just something that looks similar. Now, here's where things get even crazier, cloning. This method uses DNA from preserved specimens to create a genetic copy of an extinct animal. You might remember Dolly the sheep, the first cloned mammal. Well, scientists have tried the same with extinct animals. In 2003, they cloned a Pyrenean ibex, a type of wild goat that had gone extinct in 2000. For a few minutes, that species was technically back from the dead. But the cloned ibex had serious health issues and didn't survive long. This shows how tricky cloning extinct animals can be. And then we have the cutting edge method, gene editing. With tools like CRISPR, scientists can take DNA from modern species and edit it to recreate extinct traits. This is the leading approach to reviving the woolly mammoth, using Asian elephant DNA and tweaking it to produce mammoth-like characteristics. It's like nature's copy-paste tool, but way more complicated. So, which species are closest to making a comeback? Here are three contenders leading the de-extinction race. This is the big one. Scientists at Harvard and Colossal Biosciences are actively working on bringing back the woolly mammoth by editing Asian elephant DNA. They believe reviving mammoths could help slow climate change by preventing permafrost from melting. But it could take years before we see herds of mammoths marching across Siberia. The dodo, famous for its tragic extinction in the 1600s, might also make a return. Scientists are using gene editing to reconstruct dodo DNA from its closest living relative, the Nicobar pigeon. But would a dodo even survive in today's world? That's another big question. And then there's the Tasmanian tiger, a striped carnivore that went extinct in the 1930s. Efforts are underway to extract DNA from preserved specimens and use gene editing to bring it back. But could it successfully be reintroduced into the wild? That's a whole different challenge. With great power comes great responsibility. Just because we can bring back extinct animals, should we? Here are some ethical concerns. Most extinct animals disappeared because their environments changed. If we bring them back, will they even have a place to live? Is it ethical to recreate species that nature has already phased out? Some argue we should focus on saving endangered species instead. What if these revived species disrupt ecosystems? 
We've seen how introducing non-native species can create chaos, like rabbits in Australia. Could a resurrected species become an invasive problem? So what's next for de-extinction? Scientists believe that within the next few decades, we could see the first successfully reintroduced extinct species. But the real breakthrough might come from synthetic biology, creating entirely new hybrid species rather than exact clones of extinct ones. Imagine a mammoth-elephant hybrid designed to thrive in modern climates. The future is full of possibilities. De-extinction is one of the most fascinating and controversial fields of science today. While the idea of bringing back lost species is exciting, it also comes with challenges and risks. So, what do you think? Should we bring back extinct animals? And if so, which species would you like to see again? Let's chat in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the wonders of science. Until next time, stay curious.